the like button, hit the sub button, hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. All right, look. Today, I want to talk to you about Patrick Mahomes versus Daniel Jones. You know what I'm saying? Because on Thursday night football, everybody had their tissues out. Everybody had the, the Kleenex out crying for Mahomes. Everybody was giving Mahomes a shoulder to cry on because he had to throw the Daniel Jones weapons for one fucking game. Okay, Richie James, freaking Kadarius Tony, Daniel Jones been putting up with that filth for years. And Mahomes got to put up with that junk for one game. And now all of a sudden, it, the earth stopped moving because he had weapons fail him. You see, when Daniel Jones' weapons failed him, ain't nobody say shit. Darius Slayton, Tony, Richie James, Evan Engel before he got nice. When they was failing Daniel Jones, ain't nobody say nothing. But because it's happening to Mahomes, those same players that failed Daniel Jones, all the media said is why Daniel Jones only throw 10 touchdowns. Why Daniel Jones only throw 15 touchdowns. Not once did they come out and say, man, what would, what would Daniel Jones look like if he had receivers? But all I kept hearing on Thursday was, man, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes ain't got no weapons, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Kiss my ass. My boy Daniel Jones been throwing the filth for four years. Mahomes doing it for one game and y'all already throwing him a damn pity party. Kiss my ass. But earlier today, I dropped a video. Um, Bad Dog and I did a stream together a year ago before the season started, you know. It was a fun stream. Always have a good time with Bad Dog. It's unfortunate that, you know, what happened happened, but it is what it is. Now, Copizzle and I have a habit of reminding you of what we did a year ago. But, the, but here's the thing. Every Monday, I preach to y'all about power, strategies of war, how to apply these in your everyday life. So I figured, you know what, before I do this video and talk about what I did how about I show you what I did? Law number nine in the 48 Laws of Power specifically says, went through your actions and not your words. So the whole purpose of that video earlier today was not to rehash an old debate with Bad Dog because that's not important. All I wanted y'all to know is I've been defending Daniel Jones. I'm not new to this. I didn't do a 180. I didn't hop on the bandwagon when it was cool to do so. I defended that kid when it wasn't cool. I was being laughed at. They called me a homer. They called me a joke. The, the, the popular thing to do was rip the Giants. And I took a stand. And I said, this kid is good. He's got the short end of the stick for four years. And now that he has a competent coaching staff, he's going to prove you wrong. Now, I could say that to the cows come home and eventually y'all will get annoyed. Because, oh, Fitz Vegas is talking about what he used to do. Fitz Vegas is talking about what he used to say. No, 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 no. I could show you better than I could tell you. You see, because when I speak on Daniel Jones versus Patrick Mahomes, it hits different because you're hearing it from the horse's mouth. My information is old, but it hit like it's new because now you're seeing it from my perspective. The perspective that y'all saw on Thursday night football when it happened to your beloved Mahomes is what I've been watching Danny go through for four years. You know, Law 42, ironically enough, Law 42 says you strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. I'm going to say it again. It says you strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Ain't it funny how all the Daniel Jones haters are scattering like sheep right now because Patrick Mahomes just had to lose a game with his weapons? Richie James was out there. The same guy that dropped the fucking play, a ball in the playoffs for Daniel Jones last year. Kadarius Tony was out there. The same kid who was running the wrong routes versus the Panthers week two last year. You remember that? I think Brian Dable benched him after that, running the wrong routes. Now he's dropping balls for Mahomes. You see, when Daniel Jones had to deal with the nice guy that he is, Darius Slayton, dropping balls on Thursday night football, nobody cared. When Evan Ingram dropped balls on Thursday night football, nobody cared. 
But when you strike the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. When it happens to the best quarterback on the planet, and Mahomes is that he's 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 that guy. When it happens to him, now it's like, oh shit. So this is what Daniel Jones has been going through in New York all these years. Maybe he's not that bad. And now I turn on the Pat McAfee show and everybody except for Dominique Foxworth is picking the Giants to upset the Cowboys. Ain't that some shit? Funny how the world turns, right? You see, when it's time to put your money on the line, when it's time to put your credibility on the line, that's when people become honest. That's when people become honest. So now that the season's here, and they got to go on national television and make their predictions. Now you start to see, you know, maybe the Giants aren't so bad. Maybe Brian David did fix it. Maybe the Giants do it. Now they're switching up. Y'all see that, right? Y'all see the 180 they doing that, right? Giants getting love. The, the line for the Cowboy game was four and a half a few weeks ago. Now it's bet down to three. Now the Giants are getting all of this love. And it's just like, I posted on Twitter, right? I went viral on Twitter the other day. I said, in 2021, Daniel Jones had Joe Judge as a head coach, Kenny Galladay, Kadarius Toney, Darius Slayton, Evan Ingram on the field at the same fucking time and still managed to be a game out of the wild card late November before he broke his neck. Don't ever question the greatness of my quarterback. I mean, for real, like, I, I just find it funny that people are crying that Mahomes don't got enough help when that was Daniel Jones starting receiving core right there. Those were the starters. Richie James made some plays for us last year. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell y'all, man. The boy Richie James was out there making plays for us. That's how bad our receiving core was, right? Now, when I said this at the time, ain't nobody want to listen to me. Nah, Fisk, you bugging Fisk. Daniel Jones is trash, Fisk. Daniel Jones ain't good, Fisk. Uh, Patrick Mahomes would win games with this team, Fisk. Are you sure? Didn't Patrick Mahomes just lose to the Lions? Because a lot of guys saying, what would Patrick Mahomes do? What would Jalen Hurts do? You could just put any quarterback on this Giants team, and y'all said that they would do better than what Daniel Jones does with the team. Well, how come on Thursday Night Football, Patrick Mahomes couldn't win with Daniel Jones' weapons? And that's just the wide receivers. Our offensive line is not as good as the line of Kansas City. So now, imagine Patrick Mahomes playing behind Daniel Jones' 2021 offensive line with Pert and Lemieux. Imagine that. Imagine him having to, to, to throw to those receivers every single game. How many games do you think Mahomes will win if he had to deal with the shit that Daniel Jones has had to put up with? And I ain't even bring up Jason Garrett and Joe Judge. I ain't even bring that up yet. At least, at least Mahomes got Andy Reid calling plays, putting these dudes in positions to win. They just dropped the ball. You know, I'm so, I'm jaded. I, I thought it would feel better to brag about this. I did, but I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of talking about it. Y'all are old news, man. Whoever is just, who, all y'all are late to the party. Now the cool thing to do is talk about Mahomes versus, Pat, Mahomes versus Daniel Jones. And, you know, no, 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 no. Strategy number 12, lose the battle, but win the war. I won the war. I won the war. 33 strategies of war. Number 12, you lose the battle, but you win the war. I lost the battle 2019, 20, 2021. And then in 2022, going into 2023, I win the war. Because more people than not are starting to sound like old Fist Vegas videos. Now you can go back and watch my old videos and then turn your TV on or go click on your other favorite Giants content creator. Now they sound a lot like Fist Vegas. Now they sound like me. Ain't it funny how the world turns? Now everybody wants to talk about Daniel Jones didn't have no help. Now everybody wants to talk about Daniel Jones doesn't have a coaching staff. But like I showed you in that video with Bad Dog earlier today, a year ago, it was all Daniel Jones' fault. Nobody gave a fuck about the coaching staff. Nobody gave a fuck about his lack of weapons. Daniel Jones doesn't have pocket awareness. Daniel Jones can't elevate his teammates. Daniel Jones can't win the games. That was the conversation a year ago. 
And that video I uploaded earlier today was my evidence for that. I decided to went through actions and not through words. Don't this video hit a little bit different after you watch that argument with Bad Dog? That happened a year ago because that was the energy that Daniel Jones haters had prior to him beating Minnesota in a playoff game. So I'm not with the whole 180 turn that everybody's doing. I'm a firm believer in picking a side, staying over there. I'm a firm believer in keeping that same energy. Don't switch up now. Don't switch up now because all you switcher rappers, all you people who are late to the party are going to be the first ones to jump ship the minute the Giants lose a fucking game. We don't want you over here. Stay over there. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas and I approve this message.